Dear students, welcome to this session on language and linguistics. We have been discussing speech sounds, the classification of speech sounds, and we learned that there are altogether 44 phonemes or 44 speech sounds, and how we classify them into two big categories 20 vowels and 24 consonants. And further, the further subdivision of vowels, 20 vowels into 12 monophthongs and 8 diphthongs. And again, the 12 monophthongs are further divided into 7 short vowels and 5 long vowels. And we also dealt with the special category of sounds called triphthongs. And we learned 24 consonants as well. After that, we came across the three term labeling of vowels based on three parameters, namely the part of the, I mean the position of the lips, rounded vowels, unrounded vowels, the part of the tongue that is raised. Based on that, we call them as front vowel, back vowel or central vowel and then based on the height up to which the tongue is raised, we call them as high vowel, low vowel half close or half open vowel and we also learned how vowels can be classified as tense vowels and lax vowels after that we learned the categorizing of diphthongs falling diphthongs rising diphthongs closing diphthongs centering diphthongs and fronting diphthongs backing diphthongs so i hope up to this is clear to you today we are going to learn a very important topic. It is given in page number 25 of your linguistics textbook. It is the cardinal vowels. The cardinal vowels. Very often this is asked for university exams. See, when linguists study various languages, they probe the nature of the speech sounds of all languages. They analyze the origin, the characteristic feature, etc. of all the speech sounds of various languages. And for analyzing and understanding the speech sounds of different languages, you need to have certain points of reference, right? Yeah, we need to have certain yardsticks to measure and analyze the sounds of all languages. So for that, linguists will use a handful of sounds, specially selected speech sounds. And they are called the cardinal vowels. These cardinal vowels are eight in number. There are altogether eight cardinal vowels. This was introduced by the linguist Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. And he has written an English pronouncing dictionary. You can buy it from bookstores. It's there available in Kerala Bookhouse and so on. Daniel Jones, English pronouncing dictionary. So that includes words and their pronunciation with proper stress marks, with proper syllable marks and so on. So just mentioned a word about Daniel Jones. He is the one who devised the cardinal vowels. These cardinal vowels are the specially selected speech sounds. They serve as points of reference while analyzing and studying and describing sounds of various languages. They are the yardsticks with which you try to describe and understand the sounds of all languages. But there is a speciality. These cardinal vowels cannot be pronounced. So I cannot pronounce them here. These cardinal vowels do not have any pronunciation. They are just scripts. They are just symbols. Eight symbols. With the help of which the linguists try to locate the vowel sounds of various languages. So they serve as parameters or points of reference 
with the help of which the linguist try to locate the vowel sounds of different uh, languages they do not belong to any particular language they do not belong to any particular language we cannot pronounce these cardinal vowels they serve as points of reference or yardsticks which help linguists to locate the vowel sounds of different languages across the world so it was implemented by daniel jones so in page number 25 there is a diagram and you can see the script or the symbols used to represent these eight cardinal vowels i cannot pronounce them here i'll give you a slide which includes the script which is legible for you so today i think i need to teach only cardinal vowels because i consider this as a very important portion so what you need to do is write down a short note in your notebook on cardinal vowels and you should look into your textbook and draw the diagram of cardinal vowels and learn that script properly that script is not exactly the same as we find in english it's a different one i told you these cardinal vowels do not belong to any particular language they are used as points of reference only they cannot be pronounced and the script has to be learned thoroughly don't get confused with the vowel sounds and the script of english okay so take your own time write a short note draw the diagram and learn how to write these scripts for the cardinal vowels clearly and legibly thank you